Hi everyone. Yes, my name is Nanda Chizito Serwaji and I'm here to deliver on my promise to give you my second review of Yuval Noah Harari's book Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow. So just like in Homo Sapiens, in Homo Deus, Yuval uh, recounts the course of history and gives the different human experiences and the ethical issues that relate to his historic survey. But he also continues to describe the abilities acquired by humanity or human beings in the past centuries. And he makes a guess, an important guess, that in the future, uh, human beings are going to uh, uh, tend to fight more to acquire uh, godlike abilities in their search of happiness and immortality. So the title of this book, Homo Deus, is a combination of two Latin words, <coughs> Homo and Deus. Now, Homo means human and Deus means God. So Homo Deus, the combination means God-like humans or humans that are trying to become gods. Uh, one of my favorite quotes by Yuval uh, that's on his website is that history began when humans invented gods and history will end when humans become gods. Now what he means by this is that as I, as I earlier explained in Homo sapiens is that human history or what we call our history starts about 70,000 years ago after the cognitive revolution when we started using language to tell ourselves stories, uh, such stories as the existence of gods that created us and stuff. But he argues in Homo sapiens that history will end when we actually become the gods that we invented. And uh, this means that the more we progress as a society or as humanity, we are going to try more to fight to be immortal. And he tries to show, uh, or the premise of his argument in this book is to show that human beings are actually trying in different fields to achieve this ambition of acquiring godlike abilities. <clears throat> so one of the areas he examines is medicine. He argues that in the past centuries, or before the 21st century, human medicine was based on a philosophical understanding that human beings have a norm or have a standard level where they should be as healthy human beings. So the development of human medicine back then was to ensure that they reverse a sick person to become a normal person. So you find that medicine was always meant to normalize the situation. But he gives an important anecdote of a, of a drug called Viagra. I hope many of us know Viagra. So Viagra was made to treat infertility in men, to treat erectile dysfunctions and give men sexual virility. But what in the end the medicine achieved is not only to, to reverse uh, impotence, but it actually increased potency. So what this can give us a picture into the future is that what it can paint for us a picture in the future is that human beings are going to continue more and more to create medicine. For example, you've seen medicine that reverses a bald head, medicine that tries to make old people look younger and stuff. So our inventions are increasingly trying to make us godlike, to make us immortal and to give us more happiness. And so you can see what's happening right now that part of uh, Homo Deus's biggest guess is actually coming to pass through medicine. And of course in technology, uh, he talks about men like Sergey Brin, one of the founders of Google, who actually believe that they can be mortal if they, they keep up fit and if they keep their health in check uh, of course, putting aside accidents and stuff, but they believe that they can actually pay for their bills because they are rich and keep their health intact and live forever. But also you have men like uh, men like uh, Elon Musk, who is trying to, to find for humans uh, life in space. So he believes that perhaps life here uh, cannot be an assurance for us. So through SpaceX is trying to find that human beings can actually live outside in space that's on Mars. So you see that human beings in different, in different fields, in medicine, in technology, are actually trying to have uh, eternal life 
because they are now trying to be gods, which they had invented 70,000 years ago. So if you find this review interesting, please subscribe to my channel and look out for that book so that you can read and understand it in depth. Thank you.